A local protest was held at Little Queens Park on James Street today. It's part of a broader province-wide initiative against health care privatization as MPPs return to work in the legislature. Lee Noonan is following the story and joins us live in the studio. Lee. Thanks, Ryan. Well over 100 people came out to the local rally to raise their voices against a government proposal that they say will undermine universal health care in the province. There were roughly 150 health care workers, union organizers and concerned citizens gathered in front of the city's provincial offices. They're fighting against the Ford government's plan to allow private clinics to perform some surgeries that are currently offered only in a hospital. The government says it'll reduce wait times, but these health care workers and the unions insist it will actually increase strain on the system. The funding uh, going to private clinics what happens is that money gets funneled out of our public health care system and the dollars don't go to the frontline staff. And with the frontline staff, it, it, it becomes tough on retention and, and, and filling those positions. You talk to anybody in health care and we're burnt out, we're feeling fatigued. I love my job and I love my patients, but I can't afford to work in this system anymore. Jenny Sharp was just a teenager at the time, but she remembers the fight to get universal health care in the first place after her family was nearly bankrupt by her childhood illness. I was hospitalized like about 13 times when I was a child. And uh, during that time, I would sometimes come home from school and there would be furniture gone, favored furniture gone, or pictures that were meaningful off the wall. And of course, I didn't know what was going on, but it put me in turmoil. Sharp feels betrayed by the Ford government and says she's ready to fight for public health care all over again. The Thunder Bay rally was one of a few northern rallies organized in tandem with a major protest at Queen's Park, where organizers estimate a turnout of five to 10,000 people from as far afield as Sudbury and Niagara. You know, the Ford uh, government has no mandate to privatize. No one got to vote on that. Thunder Bay organizer Jules Tupker says Ford's recent reversal on the Greenbelt file gives the Health Coalition hope that with enough public pressure, it can force the government to change course. So the man lies and he, and he flipped and flops and uh, he flip flopped on the Greenbelt and uh, hopefully he's going to do the same thing. You know, like it's, it's all about public pressure. It's all about the general public standing up and saying no. Tupker says the group is prepared to keep fighting for the next two and a half years, right up until the next provincial election. Lee Noonan, TBT News.